Butchie here. It's been a while since I've posted, but I'm back with some new stuff. First of all, it's me. I'm speaking with my voice. Uh, I'm testing out doing voiceovers now, so yeah. I apologize if the audio is kind of bad. I'm just using what I have for now, but maybe if I do more, I'll get a mic. Second, I have sort of a different video than usual. It's still a speed paint, but it's me making a character reference sheet for a redesign of my old OC. I want to do a lot more of these since some of these guys are begging for updated designs, but this is the first. Alright, before I talk your ears off, let's get into the actual footage. So the character I'm redesigning is not as old as some of my other ones, but he's one of my favorites. His name is Mio, and he belongs to a universe where there are mages and familiars. Uh, he's a familiar, and his animal is uh, a bunny. Mio, just like a lot of my other characters, is more of a cutesy character, so I wanted to keep that in his redesign. Um, main things that I changed with his face are like simple stuff. I added a heart on his cheek. And hair longer. A lot of stuff I did keep the same. Like I kept his lanky build. He's on the taller side and he's kind of skinny. Um, and along with him I decided to redesign his weapon because his other one leaves a lot to be desired. <laughs> like a lot. Um, I'll probably put a picture of it on the screen. <laughs> Um, I like this design a lot better because it gives more of a fantasy look to the hammer. Um, doing the back view was kind of difficult because I had to like flip him in my mind, but I learned a while ago a trick to just flip the image and work from there rather than try to start from the beginning. It's a lot easier. <laughs> and it's a lot less work. In the second close-up of his face, I wanted to include some of his personality. He kind of looks like a rat in the first, like, seconds of it being... Uh, created but I fix it eventually <laughs> it took a lot of working but I wanted to show he's like more of a mischievous kind of guy because he does like to fight a lot like he's cutesy and adorable but he loves like sparring and beating the heck out of people because that's just him <laughs> so here you'll see I am starting with the hammer um, I wanted it to be more fantasy-esque like I said before, and this definitely screams more of a like cool personalized hammer than his other hammer. Even like the sides, like the faces of the hammer are like customized and stuff, and I just really like this design better. Um, I also include a lot of heart motifs around the hammer because I kind of just think that's a theme of him. You'll see when I do his clothes he has a bunch of hidden hearts. Um, so I made sure to keep putting the hearts on like pretty much everything. <laughs> thicker and like it doesn't fit in with the rest of the illustration but since it's just a reference it it's fine for his outfit again I wanted to keep the cute look for him and like I said I added heart motifs everywhere he has one on his chest he has the two heart earrings but I wanted to add more and there's the one on his cheek there's the one on his shoes, or the ones on his shoes. There's one on his back that you'll see later. 
Even the button on the collar has a heart on it. <laughs> He's just heart. Um, I think my his shoes are probably my favorite parts of the like clothes because I wish I had them. The bottoms look so squishy. Like I I want those shoes so bad. I feel like half the time when I draw characters with like fantasy clothes or like interesting clothes i always want to wear them like i wish they were real maybe one day i will make clothing and i can wear it <laughs> and there's hearts on the back of his shorts there's just hearts everywhere Even though he's like wearing shorts, I feel like he still screams like warm and cozy, kind of like a bunny does, like fluffy. I guess during the lining phase, I can talk a bit more about Neo as a person. Um, a lot of him is characterized by his relationship with his mage, Dante. Uh, the two of them, when they meet, are pretty much disgusted by each other and don't get along at all. Dante doesn't like Mio because when he saw he, his familiar was a pink bunny, he was not happy at all. Uh, I'm still working on the magic system, but in the story it basically works like this. Each mage that manifests a power specializes in that magic. And when you get a familiar, the familiar is supposed to aid you in whatever you're lacking or supports your magic. Dante, for example, has psychometry magic and can learn a lot from objects and people and is really smart, uh, but in combat he's pretty much useless. And in the story, mages are in danger because of some external threat that I haven't really figured out yet, but it means they need to have some kind of combat magic to keep themselves safe. And when Dante gets Mio, he's like, oh great, a useless little rabbit. And that aggravates Mio because back home, he's known for being an amazing fighter. And despite his size, he's actually really strong and has very strong legs because rabbits hop and stuff. So that's kind of what inspired that. <laughs> um, he can like empower his hammer strikes with his legs and even though he's like lanky and whatever, he is actually really strong. Um, the hammer that he wields is like two tons or something. I haven't really figured out the exact stuff, but I just know it's heavy. <laughs> um, and then because Mio's thing is brute force, Dante likes to tease him about being a brute with no brains because he's a nerd. But basically they don't get along until Dante can stop being a prick to Mio and then Mio has to accept him um, as his mage after going through all the things that he went through and Mio is a troublemaker and he holds grudges so it does not go down very easily when Dante finally decides to calm down about messing with him. But they do eventually end up trusting each other and they become a pretty good team because you have the fighter and the brains. So they're a pretty capable duo. And I love them. I've drawn one piece of artwork with them, but redesigning Mio is making me want to go back and do some more stuff with them. Maybe Dante will be next. So here, instead of like lining the hammer, because I thought it was a lot of work, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, uh, I just copy and paste it, and in, I don't know, in the final piece it just doesn't, I don't like it, but I did it to myself. I could always go back and fix it, but I'm not going to, because I'm lazy.
for the colors um not much changed i pretty much color picked his hair his skin and his eyes i did add the nose he didn't have a bunny nose in the last design but I did change that here because I wanted to make it more animalistic I guess and the heart obviously is new so I put those in with new colors I'm pretty sure I just used the eye color for the for the heart on his cheek gonna include blue in his design but I thought that it was gonna be a bit too much and I decided to just focus on the pink and purple aspects of his clothes um, he's uh, kind of looking like me with the, the those two purples but you know we're both pink bunnies you know we could be like siblings or something No. <laughs> And I definitely wanted the bottom of the shoes to pop, so I added the like bright pink from his eyes to the bottom of them. And I didn't render them, but they are like squishy and shiny. <laughs> and um, I didn't render like the full bodies too much because I it's a reference sheet and I wanted to be able to color pick even though I add a color bar in the middle later I still wanted the big full bodies to be just simple but I did shade and render the face a little bit the two faces This design is up on my art fight portfolio. In the description, I'll add the link to the art fight and my uh, profile so that if you're in there, we can fight maybe. It will be my first art fight, so it sounds fun, but we'll see how it goes. And that's pretty much it. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video.